thank you all once again uh, let's start the webinar before i start uh, i hope you all know that this session is all about how to hedge our portfolio against market fall or how to protect our returns what are the techniques we can use or we can adapt uh, to safeguard our gains maybe uh, we gain a 10% or 20% 30% we don't know the right? market has reached almost 20300 maybe on monday it would reach another 100 150 points or 450 around 500 let's say now market has reached 20500 all the way from 18800 right uh, so so far 18800 to now market is going to be at 20500 so continuously it is like a 1700 point rally since uh, recent fall within no time so this is the time maybe we can focus on how to protect our portfolio what are the techniques so we are going to discuss all of them in a short uh, session before i start i would like uh, any one of you or few of you to let me know what are your expectation uh, what exactly you are expecting from the webinar so that uh, we will plan accordingly when uh, i try to address questions during the webinar can you all uh, who are want to share can mute out and share your thoughts what are the expectations can you share or any of you would like to share your expectation sir we just recently me market itna rise kar gaya to jo bhi hamare portfolio ka gains hai उसको सिक्योर करने के लिए अगर हम लोग जैसे गूगल वगैरह पे इधर कहीं सर्च करते हैं तो उसमें बोलता है कि पोर्टफोलियो का जो एवरेज आपका बीटा है उसको कैलकुलेट करके फिर उसके अकॉर्डिंग आप निफ्टी का पुट बाई कर लीजिए तो उससे आप हम लोग जो भी पोर्टफोलियो के गेंस या म्यूचुअल फंड के गेंस है तो उसको आप हेज कर सकते हैं बाकी और उसके क्या क्या अदर वेज पॉसिबल है वो सर आप से एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि आप शेयर करेंगे डूरी okay all right so a traditional way is buying a puts uh, not only that in addition to buying a puts what else we can do better way yeah one more thing sir is there a yeah. different portfolio hedging technique based on the total portfolio size suppose if the portfolio size is 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs how mm -hmm. do we hedge if it is greater than 50 lakhs if it is less than 10 lakhs are there different strategies around each of this or it is a one one size fits all approach okay uh, good uh, uh, we will see that uh, what is the portfolio size based on that how do we scale up our uh, hedging technique uh, what exactly uh, based on the size what are the uh, methods we need to adapt yeah we will see that we'll address that one yeah and the adjustment part yeah of course uh, what are the adjustment for the uh, technique yeah. always right being a trader yeah. so we always look into adjustments yeah. because yeah these uh, portfolio hedging is available anywhere theoretically but hedging is one which is not, nowhere available so this is something we should know good so right uh, so why we are taking this webinar only today the my some of you are uh, few of you might be thinking uh, i think asking they asking me question that uh, sir uh, is it uh, market going for correction no uh and market is going up no so we all this questions and answers we don't know no, not me or you uh, none of this world knows about the what is going to happen tomorrow what is going to happen in next week 
or next month we don't know we, we, i am here not to predict the market but we are all here to understand as per the market trend what else we can do better rather than a ideal investor a trader what are the options we have available so we will secure the data we understand the various formats or techniques available based on that we we'll look into that solution that fits into each individual portfolio so only just i am here to give you the knowledge share my learning based on that each one of you can take or scale up or modify that strategy according to your uh, investment criteria or which fits to your set so uh, anyway this is the agenda for the day not a bigger one not even not even complex so a uh, very simple one uh, let's try to understand now i'll share you an excel sheet uh, we'll get into some maths based on that uh, we'll see we'll we'll come to an uh, actual thing what actually we can do that so let's say today it is the market uh, expecting that uh, overall uh, spot is 20500 this is all about with respect to nifty let me put a way first of all i assuming that we have a nifty 50 stocks only i am assuming that beta is closer to 1 so having seen these conditions this technique or nifty hedging is useful otherwise if specific to stock wise hedging that is a different way but we cannot actually hedge for the next one year this hedging is for next uh, upcoming 12 months december 2024 tak how can you protect my portfolio that is a overall agenda if that is the condition then we have to hedge from the nifty size assume that we have all the stocks nifty nifty stocks or your favorite stocks based on that we'll hedge it so now onwards i call it nifty bees just for uh, uh, simplicity i am making a word nifty bees under the nifty bees you have you can fit into your own stocks uh, maybe reliance industries hdfc bank infosys tcs uh, whatever stocks you wish you all stocks come under the same basket as of now i'll keep the word nifty bees now nifty spot is at 20500 as of today let's say what is the lot size lot size is 50 so what is the cost of having one lot is equal to if you see uh yeah this one yeah comes to close to 10 lakhs that 10 lakh 25000 so each nifty lot each nifty lot is equivalent to portfolio value of 10 lakh you have a investment cost or investment value is 10 lakh let's say 25000 that is okay leave it let me 20 that goes like it's now 10 lakh right so which means you have a 10 lakh portfolio of worth you have it then what is the total value of each 10 lakh is is equivalent to one lot size let's say so pf value is one cr then how many lots you need to buy uh, obviously it cost you 10 lots right P, uh, 50 into 10 you need to buy 10 lots which comes to maybe yeah the, so 10 lots you need to buy right so for to provide a complete hedge to your portfolio of rupees each 10 lakh you need to buy one lot size of nifty what is the buy i'll tell you buy means uh, yeah put only but i'll tell you what put you need to buy 
uh, how to buy and all those things uh, we'll see that so tell not we need to buy then so do you really want to uh, protect entire portfolio or do you want to protect your only capital gains or do you want to protect only 10% of your portfolio, 20% of your portfolio, 50% of your portfolio and all, we will have to evaluate. If assuming that maximum you want to protect, which means one CR you want to protect. In this case, how much I need to, this is for one CR. If you want to uh, protect your portfolio, of uh, one CR, this edging not right. Uh, you need to have old. Uh, you need to take ten lots of Nifty. Then, so this is the criteria. What is the put or what is the one I need to buy? So normally, will what what do we do? We buy Nifty. Simple uh, Nifty buy. What is a strike we, you need to buy? Strike that maybe now today is 20,000 around 200 or 300 range. So what would you buy? If you want to buy OTM, uh, I'll take you through that. So you may think this, what is a good one to buy? You buy OTM, you buy uh, ITM, right? Or you buy deep ITM. What is the right way to buy to protect the your portfolio? We will see that as well. We will see that approach as well. Let us see values. Uh, are hope all of you able to see the sensible screen, right? If not, please let me know. Okay, now let's go to December 2024. Yeah, so you see the prices here. You see 20,000 is 600 rupees. 21,000 is let's say 850. 19,000 is 400. 22,000 is at 1,280. Let's keep the strikes and prices as well. And then we'll see. We'll come to a better idea. Let's see strikes. Uh, 19,000. 20,000. 21,000. Also 22,000. We'll take it. 19,000 19, 19, is 400, 400, let's say 400, 600, 800, let's say 1300, 1200. Okay, 400, 600, this is let's say 850, this is 1200. So these are the strikes. Let me put it here. Strikes premium. Now, so these are the strike. This is now OTM. This is also OTM. These two are uh, these two are OTMs. A uh, bottom two are uh, ITM in the money. So, red one is uh, OTM, green one is ITM in the money. Let's see then what is the hedging cost for one CR. Uh, let's put, let's see the hedging cost for uh, one lot. Uh, then we'll see the tra we'll translate to one CR first. Let's see this hedging cost for 
50 lot size 50 into yeah hope it is clear now right we'll see that once you are wait later but yeah as of now if 10 lakh investment value to be hedged or protected we need to put if it's the OTM, yeah, cost is 20,000, uh, 30,000, or 42,500, or 60,000. So, what is the better way? Which one we need to buy? That, that is the more important. Now, what is the market expectation in next 12 months? Of course, we cannot predict the market exactly. Uh, at least, we, we cannot predict market what is going to happen next month or next another two months maybe at least down the line at 12 months maybe a little bit we can predict till what level it can take as of today as of today market is 20,200 so next level what would be the market criteria let's see uh, open um, trading view let's see one year chart we'll see any we'll get any clue based on that i will show you yearly chart uh, which is uh, 12 months chart so last year last year high is so if you see last year means uh, uh, 2022 high was 18,800 this year high uh, as of today 20,200 which means so far uh, almost 1400 points raised from last year to this year and the uh, year 2021 here 2021 high was 18,000 600 uh 2022 that is a uh, that was the pandemic it was 14000 so if you consider 21 18600 high and 18800 just 200 points and this year year 2023 already 20300 which means performance of 2021-2022 almost neutral, nothing, just a 200 points. Since last year 2022 performance was not that great, so this year has already gained 1400 points. Now, if you expect this much pace next another 12 months so what would be the expectation maybe another 2000 points from here let's take a 2000 points maybe 2000 point uh, range between 2000 means range between as per the history historical data we are expecting market to be in the range of 20,000, 20,000 to 22,000. This is the expectation for next upcoming 12 months, which means market may close anywhere between 20,000 or 22,000. This is our view. Market would go higher than 22,000. Market would go lower, lower to 20,000 any point of time that possibility is there but by expiry of December 2024 we are expecting based on the historical performance from here it would go another 2000 which means uh, it kind of a 10 percent which is a nifty yearly average return is 10 percent 10 9 to 10 percent so that is the review Let's go back to our uh, 
uh, excel sheet calculation part if i buy 19000 19000 put market comes to 19000 my 20000 rupees hedge cost would become zero number 1 number 2 if i buy 20000 put market expires at 19000 yes my hedge would be 600 becomes 1000 rupees which is fine the market expires at 20000 my 30000 hedge cost would be zero now in the money 21000 if I invest or if I uh, take a hedge for 21,000, market expires at 21,000 again, it would also become zero. But market expires at 20,000, market expires at 19,000, this hedge cost would give you profit. How? The gains you lose in your portfolio, but gains you would get from hedge. Let's say if you buy 22,000, maximum 22,000, of course you are investing, you are keeping 60,000. Market ends at 19,000 because last year ends at 18,800, before year ended at 18,600. This year, why not it would end at 20,000 alone? Maybe 5% only because we know that. Uh, Mm, macroeconomics data says that higher interest rates for longer of course Indian GDP is growing well but inflation still higher and uh, Fed is uh, like you know keeping giving hint like still inflation uh, interest rates would be higher for longer it would be uh, not very soon in the year 2024 they plan to cut the interest rates that is the case still market would be within the some narrow range that's a possibility that is the case what i believe buying in the money buying in the money puts makes much more sense than uh, buying out of the money because those will become zero that i'm talking about hedging point of view otherwise now you you would be you might be thinking that so uh, you might be thinking that sir ganesh 19000 is costing only 20000 20 if i buy 20000 put I, it is giving me only 30000 if i lose 30000 that is okay but if i lose 60000 if I lose 42,500, that is a very high. So rather than losing that much, uh, I would go for OTM puts. That sounds good. But remember, these two would be zero. These two would be zero only if spot, spot ends at 21K or uh, spots and at 22k still still 2000 points far from the these two but any point of time do you think uh, one question do you think that market from here it never take any correction single handed a single line it side away goes to 22000 it ends there it closed there no Right? We cannot say. Nobody, none of us can say that market is not a straight line. Right? It's not a cakewalk to gain like that. So definitely it would take ups and downs. We know all the all, uh, all those things, how it happens. So at any point of time, it would go below 20,000 also. Of course, any point of time, it goes above 22,000 also. There are chances below 20,000, above 22,000. But it takes its own journey up and down. But I will tell you, 
spot where is the spot if you see if we uh, see spot is 20200 20200 at spot see premium is 850 and this premium is 1200 do you observe this intrinsic value how much intrinsic value is there how much how much is extrinsic value is there these two premiums are completely time value extrinsic value but these two as only intrinsic value not only intrinsic value also discounted price 1800 is a actually intrinsic value must be 1800 as per the spot it must be 1800 but it is getting it is available for 1200 which means what is the discount value we are getting discount of 600 points also we are not getting into why it is less why it is more uh, based on the future value that this yeah we are not calculating we are not getting into that way just we are focusing on the what is the premium what is the cost we are not getting it complex we just we try to make it simple so 22000 strike premium is costing us 1200 but entirely the 1200 is intrinsic value in addition to that we are getting sorry we are getting 600 more discount obviously it would it should be 1800 but it is available 1200 so we are getting 600 h and we are getting very higher break even point we are getting very uh, favorable range if that is the case in this case to buy a put would be only either 21000 and then 22000 would we ask me ganesh what would you prefer i say i would prefer 22000 rather than even 21000 yes hedge cost is higher but at least if market expires at 20000 imagine market expires by december 2024 if it is spot is 20000 i'm getting not only hedge cost i i'm getting 800 points more i am getting 800 more than even more than my cost not just 1200 i paid and i'm getting 800 more that's a profitable if it expires at 21000 i would lose only 200 rupees okay this is why which strike you select which strike you buy is important rather than just buy a put whatever wherever is cheap no okay this is one point remember now another point another point let's say you you bought 19000 put uh, obviously which is which is cheaper uh, that we know that market from all the way 20200 to let's say 20200 uh, to expires by december uh, 2024 at 19000 let us let us say uh, uh, like uh, the year 21 22 happens like that uh, it happens another 200 points more like 8 600 800 now it would be like another 200 points more maybe uh, year 2022 the 24 it would take another 200 point expires in 19 19000 what would you get your portfolio would be giving you loss of almost 5% your portfolio losing 5% and also your your hedge also giving you no use because whatever you paid as a 20000 or 400 rupees a premium is worthless 
but still your portfolio is giving you loss the gains whatever you got 5% throughout the year has gone so 20000 buying a hedge is not adding value to your portfolio in terms of hedge hope it is clear now now what if a only 21000 22000 hedge if you buy you would definitely get good value good production from the your portfolio gains point number one that is the point number one point number one what we cover in the money or in the money in the money versus otm why in the money is preferred okay now point number two point number two very important just understand this point number two why it's let's say you per let's say you purchased only uh this 22,000. of course a cost is very high that is okay market market is now 20,200 20,200 what is the issue if market is corrected that is the issue but this edge will be you completely hedge your portfolio but 20 to what you what would you think that uh ganesh this 20 today is 20,200 20,200 to it goes to let's say 22,000 my hedge of my hedge of uh, this 22,000 cost of 60,000 is also goes useless, right? Yes, obviously that would be useless. But remember this, your portfolio would give you around 10% returns. This is something you should not forget. Because 20,200 to market all the way travel and went up to 22,000, which is not similar thing, right? All the market rallied 1200 points or 1400 points. All the way again, it rallied uh, another 1800 points. Is it a simple thing? 10% now it is uh, maybe that's a 5% now it would be another 10% your portfolio where would be your portfolio value it would go 10% so straight away your portfolio is increased by 10% just underline this is a, underline this return you are protecting but you are losing something but your portfolio giving you the value exceptionally very good so 10% of your portfolio means a, your value of 10,000. So 10% means uh, a 10 lakh. Your port your portfolio 10 lakh portfolio gives you 1 lakh profit. 1 lakh profit. Right? But is 10 if out of 10 lakh out of 10 lakh how much is you are you are putting as a hedging cost keeping six percent has hedge cost here if you see uh if you see if you get your point 10 lakh of your portfolio you are investing sixty thousand as a hedge cost which is six percent of your portfolio value okay but the six percent would go worthless only market ends 22,000 are above if not if not anyway by any chance market close is close at 21,000 only your hedge cost is almost nothing it's free market closed even beyond that 
from below, beyond 21,000 or 20,800 below that, wherever it goes, it is a greater profit. Of course, you lose something. Of course, market expires year only. Let's say December 2024 also market expires only 20,200. No way. Either neither goes upside nor downside. It even expires at 20,000. 200 only but still then you are getting 600 points even more profit 600 points even more so these benefits all greater benefits are available with 22,000 strike hope it is clear now uh, so far is it clear all of you and then I'll move on to a sensible uh, payup chart so that I would explain uh, other way. Then uh, let me tell you another technique. Let's say just for uh, uh, simplicity, let me give another option. This is a technique number one. Buying a puts or uh, which put you need to buy, OTM or ETM. Just we studied, we, uh, we came to a conclusion that we will have to buy only in the money. Then somebody would ask me, I have one CR portfolio, so shall I buy 10 lots of my puts tomorrow only? I mean, on Monday itself. Yes or no? Maybe you can buy in tranches, uh, right? So let's uh, plan, let's say plan two lots, two lots uh, in a month. Maybe another two lots. If market it goes further, buy another two lots. Even if market goes another. Maybe uh, every, let's like say every uh, two, 200 points or 300 points by another two lots. Like that plan uh, five tranches, not all at once. That's give you some uh, hedging, uh, average cost would be very less. If you're really serious about to protect your portfolio of one CR worth of investment, you can plan in a SIP manner every month based on the market to move. Market stays there, market is falling. Don't worry, uh, not required. Just you buy two lots, leave it. Market is continues to go higher. You get hedge will be very less. Then accordingly, you can plan your uh, buy cost, uh, buying the puts. So don't buy all at once. If you buy all at once, also what? Just this hedge is, uh, think this way. This hedge is not in, in, in terms of investment, right? You have to think this is the insurance, not as an investment. First, keep in mind, if you keep this as an investment, you can never uh, uh, think better way to take the hedge, right? This is insurance. How far it would protect your portfolio? That is important, right? Now, le let me think another way. This is a buying options. There are uh, other options to buy futures also. One is the options, just only with the options, only with the options, how to hedge. Second technique, maybe you can consider futures. What is the future? Short the future. Again, same one lot. Start the future. Short the future. Again, same one lot. One lot nifty short. So every point it goes down. That that will be covered by future short. This is a straight simple technique. Not much. Not much to. It's a, a rocket science buying a future. It would happen like I'm sorry, short futures. W what is that? Shorting future will give you downside risk. It would protect on downside risk. Ganesh, this is okay, but if market continues to go another thousand points, yes, you would lose thousand points from the future, but investment would give you thousand points. But Current, this is like a, this short future is a technique of 
locking your current profit understand this point you have to underline short future is is as good as locking your current gains so market from here whenever you let's say it becomes zero your portfolio is protected market would go another 10% whatever gains you see today another 10% up you would see same profit so you will gain nothing and you will lose nothing so major disadvantage is upside profits are not contributed to your portfolio that is the disadvantage of shorting future then you ask dinesh how can a short future for 12 months we have futures only for 3 months that is the case you can do synthetic futures means let's say currently market is 20000 you buy 20 uh, you buy 20000 put and uh, sell 20000 call that is called synthetic future this buy this is sell which is called synthetic futures which gives you uh, definitely hedge from the downside but if it goes upside you will not gain anything that is a hedging or portfolio with futures these are two techniques majorly we need to consider options with options and with futures hope it is clear now then then i will show you in sensible so next our target is we understand this hedging cost 60000 or 42800 500 that is all we know that but next is you might be thinking how actually we can reduce this cost is simply buy put take back seat no you have to plan how to reduce this uh cost of hedging over a period of 12 months you need to plan how do we reduce there are several uh, adjustments we can plan before i tell you that uh, adjustments one point i want uh, i want to remind you that uh, this uh, next year right we have a elections which is a major event just remember okay point number 1 elections are there which is a major event point number 2 so elections are there means market would rally due to elections expecting that stable would government would be uh, uh chances to be stable government then market would take another set of rally or people would think after monday or sunday's uh, results no stable government let's say just say, then market would take some correction okay that thing is possible number 1 number 1 number 2 as of now iv is very low i think iv is at at 12 which is almost a lower side if market goes to around uh, near to election time uh, month march and april and may definitely this iv likely to go higher that is the case your put value would go high your put value would go high and call premiums would also be very high calls or puts all option premiums would be very high just remember this point these two iv would go high and election is the major event next year uh, mid of uh, around first quarter calendar year those are two points if that is the case if election something goes wrong definitely this buying puts would give you very good protection then we'll see how to make adjustments now let's get on to adjustment part then i will show you uh, uh, this yeah now so let's say 
this is the year uh, December 2024. Let's say I bought 22,000 put, right? For uh, one lot, I bought it, right? So if you see, I'm paying 64,000. I'll just, I'll tell you one point here. Uh, let me uh, tell you. So market is now 20,200. What is the level of correction till what level you are ready to bear? Are you are expecting market would take correction till what level? That is important. So these are all views or our thoughts based on that only will take action, not blindly will take edge, right? So let's say in case if at all there is a correction, let's imagine that market would go to 18,000 or 17,000 or 16,000. We'll have to think. Till what level market would take correction? What level of uh, we can predict? Based on that, we'll take adjustments for this hedging cost. Are you getting my point? Let's say market max this year, right? Uh, what is uh, what is this year? Uh, yeah, what is this this year low? This year low is 16,800 and last year low is, of course, uh, there's a, uh, there is a, a tile, but if removing the tile, 17,200, 17,200 on year 22 and year 23, uh, 16,870. So more or less this year low, last year low on a, a greater level is 17,000. So having seen this level of 17,000, so between, right, this is the level between. So this is the level. 17,000 is likely to be max to max risk or downside risk. We can predict 17,000. Beyond that, nothing. So if 17,000 is our level of expectation to fall, uh, which, which comes to around, right? 17,000 means 15% uh, correction, right? From here, 17,000 means uh, which is a 15% correction, which is reasonable. Even if it, something goes wrong election, nothing goes wrong election, maximum you are taking the 15% correction. Tomorrow, don't blame Ganesh. You said only seventeen thousand. So market has uh, market has come to fifteen thousand itself. What should I do? Uh, I am not here to say exact level. Just I'm telling you some statistics and uh, trying to make uh, levels based on the historical data, right? So now fifteen percent correction is expected from here, which means seventeen thousand. If seventeen thousand is the level of correction, we see then how can you reduce this hedging cost now a simple one let's go 18 uh, 19000 put let's say sell let's say sell see 19000 put sell where is that now hedge cost almost minus 20000 63000 now it became 43,000 but still your profit if if market ends at only 19,000 you will be getting a profit of 1 lakh per lot guys please watch the screen carefully if you let's say you assume that let's say you assume that you bought put for 22,000 tomorrow let's say Monday one lot for rupees 43,500 is your cost. Market takes and also you sold 19,000. 
means from here five percent correction is expected. We are expecting five thousand uh, five percent correction. Market beyond that goes, you will not get any profit. But you are getting a profit of forty three thousand in uh, hedge cost insurance. You are getting back one lakh, which is one eighty five percent return from the hedge cost. This is a, this has no risk. You will, I told you right. Rather than you buy nineteen thousand, rather than you buy nineteen thousand, this is very important. I I told you, my friends. Here earlier, if you buy nineteen thousand alone, market expires at nineteen thousand. We came to conclusion that it has worthless. But if you buy twenty two thousand, sell, put at nineteen thousand, what are you getting? You lose five percent from capital gains, and from hedge we are getting five percent capital uh, euro from hedge. What has happened? This is like a as good as you short futures. But not future. Just you bought in the money put, and you sold OTM put with a higher value. So still you are at a good position. Nothing you lost, nothing you gain. Of course you lost five percent, but you gain from the five percent. What would you do here? If market comes to ninety uh, thousand, what would you do as the Sensible investor, market comes to correction for nineteen thousand. What happened? You keep buying something, buy, buy something. Not everything, buy. Means you can again start entering here. Maybe you can exit. What I mean to say that you can exit this put of uh, worth of uh, profit of one lakh. You exit with the one lakh. That is ten percent of your. Uh, actually, your portfolio. Let's say ten lakh. You exit uh, with one lakh profit. Reinvest at nineteen thousand. That will be adding value to your portfolio. That is one option, one technique. Okay. Let's go again. Remember, guys. I just I am not keeping all in uh, one. Just you have to re uh, uh, watch the video again and again, even later, so that you get much better idea. Now. Nineteen thousand sell. Somebody, some aggressive investor, Ganesh. Okay, nineteen thousand okay, but any point of time, market would not go below eighteen thousand five hundred. Right? Good, doesn't go below eighteen thousand five hundred. What is the option? That is the case. Start eighteen thousand another put also. Then what is the hedging cost? Thirty-one thousand. Earlier, hedging cost was remember, hedging cost was sixty k. Now, hedging cost comes down to thirty k. Do you are you getting my point? What is the break-even? See break-even. Break-even is fifteen thousand six hundred. Of course, you are taking the risk. Of course, you are taking the risk of uh, selling additional put, but you are getting a hedge cost only thirty thousand. Do you remember this hedge cost is as good as buying OTM put of twenty thousand. That is getting at a cost of twenty two thousand. That is the important to note here. Okay, this is one technique of buying twenty-two thousand. Then you might be thinking, Ganesh, I am much more. I am very sure it would not fall below eighty thousand five hundred at tiny cost. Then add one more. Who is stopping? We add one more eighteen thousand put. Right? We we have seen right. Last two years low is seventeen thousand. 
of course i am not considering that uh, uh, one tile uh, risk but an average 17000 is the let's say break uh, last two years this year or last year how is it possible maybe again year 2024 it would touch 17000 maybe all of us say no it never touched the 17000 that is your view right what is the break even this is even below that break even 16700 then what is your hedging cost now see 20000 what is happened you bought 22000 you sell 19000 one lot you sell 18000 two lots finally hedge cost is 20000 what is 20000 for otm cost for otm cost you are getting for deep in the money cost initially you feel we feel 22000 is very expensive hedge but now it comes to very cheap right it became very cheaper hedge at the same time portfolio is protected like anything now max loss max profit is 1 lakh 30000 wow margin is just you would use margin is uh, of course 2.5 is a margin that is there but you are getting very less cost for the hedge uh, even over the period of time we, we know that uh, how to recover that even 20000 also uh, that, that is the techniques or right? options we can do such things if not if you are um uh, like you're not aggressive but just a moderate investor you want to take some hedging for moderately in that case what would you do rather than this rather than selling 19000 sell 18000 and sell 17000 see here 44000 and break even is uh, do you see break even Close to fourteen thousand. Break even is fourteen thousand, and the profit is one point five. Next profit at seventeen thousand. Really, market comes to close. Expires at seventeen thousand. You will be getting one lakh fifty thousand from this hedge. Of course, forty four thousand is the hedge cost. Let me let, then in that case increase one more lot seventeen thousand. Who is stopping? Yes. Now comes to comes down more, and break even is just fifteen thousand two hundred almost, which was the uh, lower level of year twenty twenty two. Are you getting? So like this, we can play around this. not only this we can we can do several ways several options are there i just show i am just showing you very limited adjustments over a period of time we can do that but remember these adjustment is not immediately you can place maybe you will you will buy for hedge now I mean, now means uh, next uh, another weeks to days to week when weeks goes high near to elections that is the time you can take or you can buy or you can sell uh, otm puts or market takes suddenly down then also wix wix go side then you can sell puts or until then maybe you can say uh, what you can say you can can keep this strategy as a bear put what you mean bear put buy one lot sell one lot means which has no risk downside this is the way you can do that like this you can try 17000 or you can sell 18000 so you can keep as per your wish as per your flavor of adjustment over the pay up graph you can take what to sell when to sell and how to protect everything is there at your fingertips
Just you have to find out your solution that fits to your portfolio, your investment value. Accordingly, you can plan. You might be thinking that you might be asking, Ganesh, a market anyway, it doesn't cross 22,000, right? Then I have one plan. You may think maybe, and I only tell you that if market doesn't cross 22,000 year 2024 alone, then who is stopping? Sell 23,000 also. This way you can reduce your hedging cost. Not even 22,000. I'm, I'm telling you. 23,000 or 22,000 if you sell, what will happen? What is your break even? Till here, 22,000, till 22,000, you will not have any problem. Or if you sell uh, 23,000 call alone, you will not have problem till uh, uh, this uh, 21,400. Maybe this is because happening is here. Yeah. Huh. You can plan like this. So there are, so, by, so selling additional call is give you re, to reduce the hedging cost. But uh, till level of 23,000, you do not have a problem. But selling a call is a increase, is increasing your risk of upside. Okay, that is not the, uh, our uh, uh, purpose of this hedging, right? If when you take a hedge, means we assume that 412 will, will give you profit. If market falls, our hedge will protect you. That is the simple scenario. If you go more trading way, yes, you can plan selling a put, selling a calls, uh, selling weekly options or selling monthly options against your hedge. Maybe you can sell monthly options, far OTA monthly options to reduce your to reduce your hedging cost. You can do n number of things whichever way you think. So there is nothing stopping to take any option. You can always take whatever you think. So at this point of time, I'm stopping this session with these techniques. If you have any questions, please let me know. Then I'll try to uh, answer those questions, whether I speak up continuously. Mr. Ganesh, can we go yeah. ahead with uh, buying 10 lots of, say, puts uh, and uh, 10 lot uh, in the piece, uh, sorry, buying uh, 19,000, 18,000, 17,000 uh, selling puts uh, okay. in, un in one go? Yeah. What would be the disadvantage yeah. of this? Yeah. You, you can do it, sir. That, that is also there. But uh, unless elections are there, I think we can plan that way. If year was like a 2023, even uh, I think in the group I would share. I think if you are there in the group, me and some other group members also took the hedge for year 2023, like that only. But that now the, that uh, strategy is now giving you profitable strategy, not even nowhere loss is possible. Upside is we are getting almost uh, uh, good profit. If it comes downside, still we'll get. Uh, around 1 lakh like that even upside is 20 30 thousand profitable that is there because we took no major events in year 2023 but general elections is going to be a bigger event rather than going one shot what i would suggest you can plan in tranches means every three months if it suddenly it takes a uh, downside here in the month of 2024 around may then our MTM loss would be very high because VIX would also go very high. So selling more puts is a uh, Vega negative, right? So we will be in trouble if it would, uh, MTM loss would be very high. Then we will be in trouble to make adjustments. So whatever you say that that's a, a trading concept. But our main motto of this session or this hedging is to first to protect our portfolio, not to reduce the cost, protect our portfolio. Then over a period of time, we have anyway 13 months. We plan uh, lightly over a period of time to reduce the co uh, cost. We have enough time. We can plan, sir. Okay. Hope I answered your question. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. I hope uh, it is clear for you and uh, no other questions.
thank you all joining for the session webinar if you have any other questions still group is there telegram group you can join you can post whatever you want to know that and also there is youtube channel smart investor please do subscribe and share uh, let us know your feedback uh, any other things happy to help you on that thank you all thank, thank you for joining thank you ganesh thank you ganesh thank you for your time super session thank you thank you all right bye bye thank you